Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs of the Binding of Isaac. This is... Apologies for my vocal stumbling, but this is gonna be a weird run. Uh, it's a vanilla run, with one exception, and that is in Cheat Engine, there's an option called Speed Hack, and if you enable that, uh, you can turn the game up to twice its normal speed, so that is what we're doing right here. Otherwise, it's gonna be a vanilla run, uh, but it's gonna be a difficult vanilla run, because obviously everything is moving twice as fast. I mean, there's there's good things about that, and then there's bad things about that. Uh, you're noticing one of the bad things about that already, as I have gone down uh, one and a half hearts on the first room, and a very easy room at that. Uh, so this is gonna be a run that I'm imagining, you know, oh, by the way, many people suggested this, and fuck each and every single one of you, because this is uh, probably the most heinous run I've ever done, you know? Fuck the Infinite Anarchist Cookbook run, fuck the, you know, Conquest run that didn't work. This is the craziest shit that I've ever done in a challenge run of The Binding of Isaac. If I succeed at this, Balls of Steel is going to go a long way towards helping me there. If I succeed in this run, uh, you know, all bets are off. I, I can accomplish anything, I feel, in, in the world of The Binding of Isaac. Because right now, you know, I mean, we're shooting faster. Enemies are moving faster. The big limiting reagent here is the fact that my brain is still the same speed. Uh, which is going to require me to have much faster reaction time in order to dodge enemies. I'm assuming bosses are going to be substantially more difficult. God help me if we fight the bloat or we end up fighting like the pony or the fallen on one of these early floors. Hopefully we get some good items like uh, Ghost Baby, which I'm not going to reroll because we'll save our reroll for the boss. Um, yeah, who knows basically is what I'm trying to get at here. Anything could happen. Um, the longer we survive, the better our chances, but man, uh, this is gonna be heinous. Uh, by the way, I don't even know if fucking Camtasia is gonna be able to record this. It already sometimes has frame rate issues. Doubling uh, the speed of it. Oh, good, we're fighting a uh, blue famine. The, the hardest of all the famines. Is this what- this is what playing the Binding of Isaac felt like before I memorized enemy patterns. It was like, you expect me to dodge this? I've already lost like two spirit arts. The good news is if we die, we'll be able to, you know, start up some new runs very, very quickly. Um, because it's a run in the cheat engine that is incredibly easy to set up. But I'm expecting, you know, uh, failure to lurk around each and every single corner. Well, we survived and we actually managed to get some spirit hearts. We get a cube of meat, we could look for the secret room, but why bother? Instead, down to the next floor. Believe it or not, this is actually further than I expected to get. I kind of expected every single run in this episode to just end at exactly the same time. We desperately need a few things. I think with this run right here, uh, items that give me added defense are extremely important. Uh, so things like anything that gives me extra health because I'm going to need that HP. Uh, anything like the nail, of course, and anything that allows me to fly and just kind of hang out over rocks and like plan my shots so that I'm a, a little bit less exposed uh, than I would otherwise normally be. I don't know, after a while, it's kind of like, you know, when you play Rock Band with, uh, or Guitar Hero with like hyper speed mode on. After a while, I'm pretty sure if I go back to the regular Binding of Isaac, it's going to be impossible for me to not get hit. Or, sorry, impossible for me to get hit. I'm just gonna, like, my brain is gonna be so acclimated to this new change. Um, that's mom's contact. Is that a tears up? Or is that a freeze? Tears up. Well, I'm not necessarily happy I took it. Might have been better suited for a reroll, but, uh, it's, it's not a bad item by any stretch of the imagination. I always get it confused with mom's contact, which I think has some, like, redness in the sprite. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, after a while, this is probably just gonna seem normal. Uh, but then you go back and watch another Binding of Isaac video, and you're gonna be like, Wow, this game is slow as fuck. Uh, but anyway, we're just gonna move on. So far, so good. Kind of, I guess. Uh, we're gonna encounter the boss room any second now, presumably. And in which case, I will probably look for the secret room. I don't want to open that golden chest. With three bombs, I might as well look for the secret room. Bombs are probably gonna be pretty valuable for, uh, taking out bosses as well, because as you saw, dodging is not gonna be easy. You know what? We're gonna take Book of Bilal. That's gonna speed things up. I hate getting rid of the D6 so early, but uh, the ability to do extra damage to bosses might actually save us. And we kind of need to take short-term advantages here. I, as much as I hate to say it, because I, I prefer focusing on the long-term, but, uh, you know, Book of Belial in its own right uh, could be very beneficial for us. Now, hopefully Pin will give us an HP upgrade. Pin's probably the best boss we could fight at this point in the game. Uh, hopefully we get some more money, we, we find ways to make this Book of Belial work for us in the future by way of Nun's Habit or 9-Volt, or, the, you know, along those lines. Map and compass are going to be valuable as well. Every item that used to be valuable is still valuable. Uh, we'll take our tears upgrade. What do we have from our deal with the devil here? The magician card from the eight ball. Uh, Spirit of the night. Okay, so we're going to roll Spirit of the night. We have added defense. We have a little added damage now. Uh, but we're definitely in a very risky position as well. Uh, of course. Because I have so little HP overall. Okay, thank God I did not get hit there. This is what I meant, though. Um, we, we have some of the upgrades that I wanted. We have extra defense, uh, or at least defensibility by... Oh, not good! By way of uh, Spirit of the Night. 
Uh, I'm basically dead, but that's okay. You know, it's the general, I'm gonna stick to my general Binding of Isaac rule, and that's if I die before like 10 or 15 minutes, I'll probably just restart it and we'll do another run here. Because there's no, basically no risk to myself in doing that. It's not like we're gonna have an hour long run after that. We have speed hack on. Good, we got bombs are key, that's basically worthless. Uh, golden chest is not really worth it. I don't want to fight the boss just yet. I want to go, yeah, this is basically exactly what I was looking for, uh, a tinted rock to give us a little HP, because otherwise, I could die in one hit against the boss. So hopefully we get, uh, some spirit hearts here. Might want to visit the, uh, library? I don't know. Maybe there's a book of revelations in there. Uh, we'll check it out. Uh, there is book of revelations. Now, do we go book of revelations, or do we stick with book of Belial? This is a very good question. Uh, I kind of think we go, we fight the boss with book of Belial first, and then we come back and get book of revelations. Uh, and, and roll with that, because I'm gonna need those spirit hearts moving forwards. The game, I'll admit, you know, it's, it's doing its part to help me out. We might as well pop the Magician card here. There's no other better time for us to use it. Uh, yeah, the game's doing its part to, to help us out. Now we have some way to replenish our spirit hearts. This is a much easier fight than Blue, uh, Blue Famine, uh, which is great. Blue Famine sounds like a great Dennis Hopper movie or something. Uh, so Famine will be dead very soon. We'll get our second cube of meat, and things are starting to slow down. Still rolling at a, a pretty frantic pace, but I'm I'm impressed with things so far. So, Book of Belial, you know, you did your part, that's good. Uh, Book of Revelations we're gonna roll with now, and we're just gonna look for our item room on this floor. Uh, uh, you know what, we might as well pick up, it's too fast to not just pick up the item over and over. Book of Sin just gives us a heart, maybe we'll find an arcade on this floor, although it's somewhat unlikely. Alright, so we, we have health, we have the ability to replenish our health, and I really did not expect this to be going so well. This is going to be a little tricky. Actually, if I just hang out over the uh, chasms here, I should be okay. Or over the gaps, if you will. It's embarrassing. I never know if it's pronounced chasms or chasms. It, now, now that I say chasms, I realize that that sounds very silly. And, and I, I probably sound like an idiot. But in any case, Spirit of the Night is going to allow us uh, you know, do some good stuff here. Basically, uh, kill the enemies without any risk to ourselves. Which is extremely important. In fact, I, sh I can probably afford to get a little bit more aggressive with things. Please drop a key. Well, more money. Not necessarily the end of the world. Uh, we get Anarchist Cookbook, which we sadly cannot re-roll. So this item room ended up being a bust for us, but that's okay. We are on Caves Part 1, and we're still alive, despite the fact that we're moving at double speed here. So, you know, second cube of meat. Maybe we can turn that into a third cube of meat, and I can beat the game simply by standing still uh, in the corner while third level Meat Boy goes to town. I'm using both bombs. We did find the secret room. The secret room contains enough money to make the shop worthwhile on the next floor, not on this floor. We really would love to get a, a nun's habit or a 9 volt or a battery at this point to aid and abet us with that book of revelations. But in any case, down to the next floor, basically every possible defensive uh, advantage I could have asked for has appeared. So if I lose, I have no excuse beyond the fact that my brain is not capable of, of handling this kind of, uh, you know, input speed, essentially. Um, Oh god, my headphone cord has landed on the keyboard. There we go. So I shouldn't have to use a bomb to uh, unlock this tinted rock here. Instead, I'll just shoot at this stuff. There we go. We got one bomb out of that tinted rock, which is probably objectively the worst possible payout beyond like a golden chest, considering we don't have zero keys. And even that golden chest, you know, could be beneficial. Uh, we should probably just hang out over the chasm here. Again, the flies will be able to get us. The silkworms will not, so no big deal there. And I'm feeling fairly good about things. Like I said, you know, things are slowing down a little bit in my head. Uh, Book of Revelations is going. Maybe we can get permanent invincibility from the Polaroid. There's a key, which is just good luck. Could have been better. Oh, and then we have bad luck, of course, uh, by getting the hourglass there. But at least we tried. Maybe we should have gone to the shop first here. Alas, no huge deal. If we find some more red hearts, we'll probably start playing that blood bank. But as is right now, I'm feeling pretty good about this situation. All it's gonna take, though, is one boss that absolutely ruins me. A boss that I find it very difficult to get around. Uh, Mask of Infamy. I'm not sure if Spectral Tears give you an advantage against Mask of Infamy. If they, that was bad damage. If they don't, uh, I might find myself in a very tricky spot. Thank you for that spirit heart, just randomly. Uh, if they do, then awesome. Uh, I want this dude to throw some bombs at me and knock this tinted rock away. There, oh no, I accidentally botched it, but it's okay, we got the spirit heart back. Man, things are moving quick. You don't notice it when you're just firing so much, uh, but when, when the enemy, like, starts throwing bombs at you and they explode in, like, less than a second, uh, that's when it becomes quite obvious, I think. He should be dead, basically, now. Yep, and he's gonna give us two bombs, which is needed, uh, and two pills. This could be big. That one is health up, that's fantastic, and balls of steel. Could not ask for two better pills than that, basically. Uh, this is a great room for us because with Spirit of the Night, we can just lob shots in here. Another Spirit Heart. I don't know why we're getting so lucky. That's another health upgrade. 
The game is very much on our side right now, and I appreciate that. This is still a, a run where anything could happen, though, of course. Uh, so we're just going to play it cool. We're going to stick with what we've got. We're going to find this boss room. Um, and I'm going to try to shoot some shots in here without putting myself in too much risk. Because obviously, uh, these guys shoot uh, in a way that hits you if you're actually hitting them. Or if you have the potential to hit them, I should say. So it's a little tricky. But, uh, you know, I, I've actually I've played worse on runs at normal speed. I, I'm not saying I do that consistently. Thank you, Cuba Meat, by the way, for blocking that shot. I'm not saying I consistently play worse, but I, I have had worse runs at slower speeds. So I can't really complain about the way things are going right now. Now, I am going to fight the boss just because we're here and I have the health right now. Um, and I can basically just hang out over, uh, over rocks if necessary and screw Chubb in the butt. The good news is from a, like, real playing time standpoint, this run should be basically half as long, uh, because everything's moving at double speed. I kill enemies twice as fast. Mind you, they kill me twice as fast as well. It's like true glass cannon style. By the way, with speed hack for, uh, the cheat engine, there is also the opportunity to turn things up to, like, as fast as 500 times, but I think the game has a maximum speed, because when I tried cranking it up to 500 times, uh, it, it looked the same as 2x, and then it just crashed, so... Uh, I, I don't know if that's going to be a viable challenge run, even though I know it's going to be a, a popular fan suggestion. So, what do I hope for here? To be honest with you, I'm hoping for Deal with the Devil, Brimstone, or Mom's Knife. I know that's very uh, standard Northern Lion trope at this point, uh, but that extra damage would be awesome. I still have the, the defense to make it worthwhile. And I think it's a reasonable possibility, to, to be honest with you. I, I really think we might actually win on this run, and this would make this like the proudest run I think I've ever had. Um, mind you, the game is doing its part uh, with respect to luck. I'll just take the HP, that's cool too. The game's doing its part with respect to luck, and I appreciate that. Did we go to the secret room? How did we find that? That's super weird. Let's check out what we've got in here. It's just a slot machine anyway. I should have played it, and I might go back and play it, to be honest with you, just to see if there's a key in there. Uh, and there's another blood bank, and a mob trap room, which we can absolutely go to. Uh, and a tarot card, which is the fool, which just takes us back to the spawn room. And we get an extra heart here, which is okay, because we need that extra heart. We may be able to play the blood bank a few times. I haven't been able to go to the shop, though. Keys are so low right now. Hopefully we'll get a key on this room right here. Obviously, uh, on the next set of floors, I'm very much hoping to fight war, so we can get that third level meat boy up. I would also, of course, love a uh, deal with the devil. And a deal with the ah, that was bad damage. A deal with the devil that uh, turns into something that in greatly increases our damage would be fantastic. Basically anything. I would take the pact. I would take the mark. There's a random key, which means we will be able to go to our uh, shop here, which hopefully does not contain greed. It does not, but we don't get anything too great. Our pill is bombs are key, which is actually pretty useful for us. So let's move onwards. Um. I'm not going to use the bombs or key pill yet, but I can use this on the next floor if things get rough uh, and at least give myself a couple of keys to go to the item room in the shop, which I definitely still have the uh, the money to make good use of. So again, like I said, things are starting to feel like they're slowing down, which is both scary and awesome. Uh, I'm just going to hang out over here. Wow, we accidentally found the secret room. I'm just going to hang out over here where the green bombs cannot hit me, he says, as the green bombs actually do hit him. It's okay, just stay as far away as you can while still being in range of hitting the enemy. Red dude. At night, Sailor's Delight. He's gonna just keep bouncing back and forth there. Beautiful! An extra nickel for us, and our secret room just contains a slot machine. This is a big floor, obviously. Uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's okay. These guys, I, these guys are gonna be a serious pain in the dick. Uh, I'm really hoping they just kill themselves on the uh, blue spikes, which is definitely a possibility. Yeah, like that. Uh, and we'll leave, and that dead end has now been explored, so we can... Dead end been explored, the Northern Lion story. Sounds like the worst porno of all time. Thank God you can't get immolated leapers. Leapers are going to be a real problem for me here, as you might expect. As they always are, or often are at least. You know, we need keys, so we might as well go through this. We get an extra half heart and a penny. I'm a little bit half-hearted about that haul, to be honest with you. Definitely could have uh, afforded some much better items there. But hey, you know... All we gotta do, beat this floor, deal with the devil, mom's knife, brimstone, everything comes up roses, 9 volt in the shop. I'm starting to, forgive me, I'm starting to feel a little bit more skeptical about this run, just because, you know, as we get on these, like, later floors like Necropolis, I'm taking more and more damage. Uh, just gotta renew my, my focus in the game a little bit, I think. I don't wanna deal with these zombies. Zombies are gonna be a real problem for me, uh, obviously, as you might expect. Let's just put a bomb down here, maybe I can get three of them. Wow, I got all of them, and I got a key. That was a good use of a bomb. 
I feel okay about that now. And thankfully, I didn't use that bombs are key pill earlier. Otherwise, I could have been stuck in there for a long ass time. All right, this should be a fairly easily uh, solved room. You know, these guys are, are easy to uh, goad into shooting the way I want them to shoot. Our shop contains greed, which is kind of to be expected at this point. Uh, but who knows? Maybe I get a steam sale here, or a quarter, or something along those lines. Just, uh, maybe only super greed drops the quarter, but uh, that's okay. Greed, we're, we're taking damage. We're doing damage. Everyone's happy, including Greed, but someone's got to lose here, and I'm hoping that it's not going to be me. And hopefully we get some keys for the next floor, because obviously I want to make that work. Well, we just got an extra key right there. I don't want to use the bombs or key pill until it's absolutely necessary. Obviously, it, it, I'm, I'm thinking about getting to Mom's heart at some point in this game. Got a weird slowdown here, uh, and getting to Mom's heart is going to require the use of bombs. Well, to kill Mom's heart, anyway. This is going to be a tough room. If we end up fighting Mask of Infamy... Don't be surprised if that's the end of this, uh, you know, speed hack run. Or the real speed ball. I forget what I'm gonna call it here. It's many different names suggested by many different people. More keys, but I'm losing spirit hearts like crazy. There's an eternal heart, which I will definitely pick up now, just so I don't forget. Uh, I have the spirit hearts right now to accommodate uh, not losing that. So we might as well pick that up. Although I think if I get hit now on this room, it will take the eternal heart first, which would be bad for business, obviously. It's okay, we just killed the neutral fly. Greed is gonna die soon. There's another key. Keys are coming fast and furious now. I appreciate it. More like I appreciate it. I don't feel proud about that joke, I have to say. So let's take out some of these flies, then we'll focus on the... It's like fighting three dukes of flies. They're actually kind of annoying. Uh, especially, like, if you have piercing shots, no big deal, right? But if you don't have piercing shots, they're kind of difficult to dodge, especially at twice the speed. Like, flies and spiders... The way they move, it looks like they've just been taking fucking methamphetamines all night. So, I, I want to kill this head dude. There we go. Now we just hide in the corner. Don't get hit. Take out the laser bullet flies. Take out the grandfather flies. And then focus on Mr. Bombfly. Who's going to be a scarier problem for us. There we go. Oh, there we go. He's dead. Book of Revelations is procced. And our item room. The shears. I mean, they're kind of fucking us with respect to spacebar items right now. I don't like it. I mean, I would really love to get some passives in these item rooms, but the last three item rooms have simply contained uh, active items, which is really unfortunate, to be honest with you. Uh, it's hurting our chances a little bit. We still have a decent amount of health. We're kind of suffering on the damage front. Uh, I'm, I'm taking more damage than I should be as well, so, I mean, it's not like it's entirely the game's fault. I mean, certainly there is an element of poor play for me as well, as I just keep getting battered by these uh, green bombs here. Really want to get out of Necropolis and get back to a floor like, hopefully we get the depths next. Uh, cause otherwise, I might find myself in a, a dead place. I, that was the best linguistic comment I could come up with right there, so I apologize for that. Anyway, this room, I like this room! If I could just fight this room over and over, that was terrible damage. If I could just fight this room over and over, I'd be happy though. And the key situation is cool too. Um, you know what? I've made a huge mistake. Just gonna put a bomb down here and then run away. Oh, I accidentally opened myself up. Okay, we're going to lose that eternal heart, possibly. This should be an easy enough room, although, you know, the conga lines do move very quickly. I shouldn't kill the green dude, because the green dude can help me kill the conga liners and also do damage to myself. Okay, don't take damage against this boss, or you're going to lose... Okay, perfect, we're fighting war. I mean, that makes sense, because we do have Book of Revelations. There goes our eternal heart. Um, this could very easily be the death of us. The bombs just explode too damn fast. Oh, man. War is like the worst enemy we could possibly fight right now. This is going to be it for us, I think. I tried. That, it, it happened so goddamn fast. Thank you guys for that challenge run suggestion. And fuck you guys for that challenge run suggestion. I will never do that again. But as always, that was an interesting episode. I'm looking forward to getting back to some normalcy. Game is honestly giving me a little bit of motion sickness. But again, as always, continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones I deem most entertaining or appropriate. That went down the drain fast. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.